Hi guys, welcome to the part 2 of the disk scheduling algorithm series and in this series we're going to cover the look, I mean the scan algorithm and the C scan algorithm. Okay, so what's the difference? First of all, let's understand what a scan algorithm is. A scan algorithm is also known as an elevator algorithm. That's right, an elevator algorithm. Why is it known as an elevator algorithm? This is because the disk arm just uh, acts just like an elevator in the building. Initially, it services all the request while going up and when reverses the direction towards down, it services the request on this way. Now what do I mean by this? Okay, so if you had seen my previous video, I had said that the previous request was, was on 125 and my head was at 143. So my direction is going this way. Okay, so my elevator's direction is fixed. Now what next? Since like an elevator, I'll start at 143, then I'll start covering, uh, I'll start covering the cylinders at 913, 948, 1022, 1470, 1509, 1750, 1774. Now just because this is a scan algorithm, this goes way up to the end to 49999. Okay, just remember that you have to go to the extremes before you can reverse your direction. Now while reversing my direction, I'll pick up on my way whatever requests are left. Now I check 1774 has already been seeked. 1750 has also been already been seeked. And in a similar way, when I reach up to 143, I realize that even 143, that's the header. Okay, so 130, I check 130 is not seeked. So, I seek 130 and then I seek 86 and this is where my uh, disk arm stops moving. So, what's the total seek time in this kind of thing? Uh, in this kind of algorithm, it will be equal to 913 minus 143 plus 948 minus 943, 913 plus... 1022 minus 948. Okay, so you go on doing this, you do 1470 minus 1022, 1509 minus 1470. But when you reach here, you have a confusion what to do about the 4999. Well, you have to include this in your total seek time. So you also do plus 4999 minus whatever this distance was between 49999 and 130. So 4999 minus 130 and then 130 minus 86. So when you do the math for yourself, you will find that this tantamounts to um, 9769. Okay, fine. So this was the scan algorithm. Now, let's have a look at the C-scan algorithm. Now, the only difference between a scan and a C-scan is that when, uh, like in the scan algorithm, when we are going in this direction, okay, and then while coming back, we picked up 130 and we picked up 186. But in C-scan, once you choose your direction, only in that direction you are allowed to pick up your cylinders. That is, only at that time, you can, only in that direction you can access your cylinders. So if our head was moving in this direction, starting from zero, then only we have the liberty to seek 86 and 130. You will have a fairer idea when I draw how each and every cylinder is seeked. Okay, so heads here. And my directions in this direction. That's pretty clear by now. So first I seek 143, then 913, then 948, then 1022, 1470, 1509, 1750, 1774. Just because it is a scan algorithm, I go way up to the end. Okay. Now, like I said, in my reverse direction, I cannot pick up 
86 and 130. So what do I do? I have to reverse my direction by coming up to 0. Okay? And now, going in the same direction I was as I was going earlier, I go again to 86 and then I seek 86 cylinder and then I seek the 130th cylinder and this is where it ends. So this is how you do the C-scan. Now how do we calculate the total seek time of C-scan? So initially that's easy, well it starts at 143, uh, the header is at 143, so uh, 143, then 913, 948 and whatever, so you do, yeah, 913 minus 143, uh, then 948 minus 913, and goes, 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 then you reach at 499, and from 499 you see it goes up to 0. So you add 499 minus 0, and then you do 86 minus 0 plus 130 minus 86. So the total C scan time comes to 9813. So that's it for C scan, guys. Um, do watch the next part for the look and the C look scheduling algorithms. Thank you.